Defend yourself against DDoS attacks by hiding your true IP address with ExpressVPN. And visit my custom link expressvpn.com slash gillymaster in the description to find out how you can get an extra 3 months free. One of the biggest issues with special ammo in GT Online is its low capacity. Combined with the fact that you cannot buy it through the interaction menu, so if you run out of the small supply you have, then you have to run all the way back to a weapons bench to buy more. But what if I told you there was a way to have the game automatically refill your special ammo every time you switch instances, meaning every time you find a new session, start up a job through the phone and come back, etc. And what if I told you this also works for almost all weapon types and ammo, even regular rounds? That is what I'm going to show you how to set up in this video. So in order for this to work, you will need two weapons that share ammo count. So all of the ARs, for example, they all share the same ammo count. So this works for them. The pistols all share ammo count, and same goes for special ammo types. You need two weapons that share the same special ammo count. Which means that you cannot use this to replenish explosive shotgun slugs, explosive snipe rounds, or special Mark II Combat MG ammo because there are no other weapons that share those ammo types. The Mark II Combat MG is the only Mark II MG and there's no other shotgun or sniper that has explosive rounds. For that same reason, this will also not work with throwables, the RPG, homing launcher, or railgun because they are all unique ammo types. And perhaps if you notice your guns constantly taking ammo from you, there's a good chance this is the reason why. But with all that out of the way, let's get into how you do this, and the logic behind it is that despite guns sharing ammo count, behind the scenes it seems that each individual weapon in the class also stores its own ammo value that it pulls from. So for example, let's say we want to have the game so it replenishes our FMJ revolver ammo. Well, what you need to do is own FMJ rounds on two pistols, so the revolver and let's just say the pistol mark II for example. Make sure you have max ammo count for FMJ pistols and equip FMJ on both weapons, and then unequip the FMJ rounds on the pistol, but keep them on the revolver. The game will then store that max amount of FMJ rounds on the pistol behind the scenes, and since they share ammo, it will always take whatever amount is stored and put them in your inventory, and since the revolver and pistol both share the same FMJ rounds, it will give you max FMJ ammo every time you switch sessions or start up a job and back out. And you can do this with the hollow point pistol rounds too, it's the same exact process, even having them on at the same time if you store the max hollow point ammo on the revolver and unequip it. So both the hollow point ammo and FMJ ammo will regenerate upon switching sessions. Same thing with the different ammo types on the SAR rifles. For me, I do it with armor piercing rounds so they regenerate on session swap and it's very helpful, especially for PvP. In that same regard, this works with regular ammo too. If you buy max ammo for a certain weapon class and equip one of those weapons with special ammo, it will then store the regular ammo count for that weapon in the background and upon session swap or starting up a job and quitting it, any weapon that shares that same ammo count will be regenerated to the full amount. And if it doesn't work for you, try reverting weapons to Mark 1 and then buy full ammo because that's what worked for me with my sniper ammo. It kept going down to like 900, but when I reverted my Mark 2 sniper back to the heavy sniper regular and bought full ammo and then brought it back up to Mark 2, it worked. So Mark 1 and Mark 2 weapons seem to both store their own ammo counts in the background. Alternatively, if a weapon class does not have a Mark II weapon for special ammo to be equipped to so that you can store the regular amount, you can also store ammo counts using the weapon locker with a custom weapon loadout. So the grenade launcher for example, both the compact and regular grenade launcher share ammo count but there's no Mark II versions or special ammo types so you can't really do that method. So what you have to do is first of all buy max ammo for the grenade launcher, then go and hide one of them via the custom weapon loadout, doesn't matter which one it is. And now every time you swap sessions you will get max ammo for the grenade launcher. You can see I launch some grenades here, then I start up a job and back out, and it replenishes it back to full after a couple seconds. Sure, it's not as quick as just buying more through the interaction menu, but it is a good way to automatically top off your ammo whenever you find a new lobby. And this will be the case for any of the regular ammo weapons as well. You can do the weapon locker method. And yeah, I have this set up on all my weapon classes, so I pretty much never have to buy ammo except for my throwables and rockets when they disappear randomly, which is super annoying. And there is unfortunately no remedy for that because this trick doesn't work with those weapon classes. But if you have any other problems with other weapons having ammo disappearing, this should hopefully fix that. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, feel free to leave a like as well as subscribe to my channel for more GT Online content. I want to give a huge shout out to all my channel members for your support. If you'd like to become a member for some exclusive perks, you can either use the join button or the link that's down in the description. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.